Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine compound nouns. In your study of German, you will certainly encounter some very long nouns. These are known as compound nouns. Although somewhat intimidating, compound nouns are simply a chain of smaller nouns that are joined to create a new noun. German does this a lot. By taking a compound noun apart, you can arrive at an understanding of what it means. The noun you see on the screen, Arbeitgeber, is an example of a compound noun. Let's take it apart now. The first noun in our compound noun is die Arbeit, a feminine noun meaning work. The second noun is der Geber, a masculine noun meaning giver or provider. This noun is derived from the verb geben, to give. You will recall from the presentation on masculine nouns that all nouns ending in er that are derived from a verb are masculine. Here you will note an important rule governing compound nouns. The final noun in the chain will determine the gender of the compound noun. By putting these two nouns together, meaning work and provider, we can come up with the definition of the noun, which is employer. Let's add yet another noun to our chain. The third noun is die Bewertung, a feminine noun meaning evaluation. You will recall from the presentation on feminine nouns that all nouns ending in UNG are feminine. Since this is the last noun in the chain, the gender for the compound noun is feminine. By putting these three nouns together, work, provider, and evaluation, we can come up with the definition of the noun, which is employer evaluation. Compound nouns are often joined by a connecting element. These elements are either the plural ending of the prior noun in the chain, an e, en, or n, or a genitive case ending, a s or es. We will look at both these grammar topics in greater detail in later presentations. For now, it is important to note that there are no rules for determining when you use a connecting element. The plural ending e here connects der Tag, de, and das Buch, book, creating the compound noun das Tagebuch, a journal. Here the noun die Traube, grape, is joined to the noun der Saft, juice, by the plural ending n, to create the compound noun der Traubensaft, grape juice. In this slide, the noun der Tag, de, is joined to the noun der Ablauf, routine, by the genitive ending es, to create the compound noun der Tagesablauf, the daily routine. And here the noun der Stadt, state, is joined to the noun die Angehörigkeit, membership, by the genitive ending s to create the compound noun die Staatsangehörigkeit, nationality. You'll recall from the presentation on feminine nouns that all nouns ending in kite are feminine. Finally, it is important to note that other elements besides nouns, such as adjectives, adverbs, verbs, and prepositions, can be used to form compound nouns. The final element in a compound noun, however, must be a noun. The compound noun you see on the screen, thus Zwischenergebnis, interim result, is comprised of the two-way preposition Zwischen, between, and the neuter noun Das Ergebnis, result. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.